Hi everyone, it's Leslie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression on a classic high street stroke drugstore foundation. It is the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour foundation. Now I have to be honest, this isn't the first time I'm going to be using it. I used to use this foundation years ago, like so long ago. It was so long ago I can't even remember what this foundation was about, whether I liked it, how good it was. So I can actually class it as a first impression because it does feel like I'm going to be using this for the first time. As always I filmed a demo for you all so you'll see my first reactions to using it. But first let's find out what this foundation has to offer and go through the product claims. So this is Revlon's full coverage foundation but it actually comes in two versions so I've bought it in the one for normal to dry skin but it also offers something for those who have oily combination skin but if you prefer a matte finish then go for the one for oily skin but if you prefer a more satin finish then go for this one. I believe the main selling point for this one is that it is a long wearing lightweight foundation. This one claims to last for 24 hours. It is a medium to full coverage foundation that is also buildable and it also contains an SPF of 20. It's not supposed to cake or rub off or transfer on your clothes. This is also oil free but it's also apparently supposed to have a time release technology to keep your skin hydrated throughout the day. It comes in nine shades. I found it quite difficult to find one to match my skin. I was torn between two shades and I think my perfect shade would have been one right slap bang in the middle. What I ended up doing was getting my number seven shade on my hand and then tried to find the closest match I could with the Revlon and I ended up getting the darker shade of the two that I was choosing from. Those are all the bits that we need to know about this foundation so enjoy the demo and I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome to the demo. So today I will be using the shade Natural Tan and it's 330 and it is in a screw bottle like this with no pump so this can be quite fiddly. So I'm just gonna put a small amount on my hand. Just hope that it's not too watery or else it'll go everywhere. Whoops, be quite fiddly. So I'm just gonna use about that much and today I'm going to be using my Real Techniques buffing brush. Um, in my last review I used um, a foundation brush and it didn't work quite so well. So I'm gonna go back to my buffing brush, start off with this side of my face. Now, just from my hand it looks a little bit dark already. It was so hard for me to find a shade in this one. So I'm gonna start off with this side of my face. is looking a little bit too dark for my skin so I'm just going to bring it down to the rest of my neck. As I was saying I found it so hard to find a shade but if anything it's going to warm up my face so we'll go with this. You don't need a lot of this at all. Scent wise there's not much of a scent to it. So with one, what do you call it? I can't say pump, so you saw the amount I put on my hand, but with that amount I managed to cover um, this side of my face. So I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm gonna put that amount on for the other side of my face, and I really don't even think I need that much. So I've just finished the rest of my face and yes I do look like I've just come off holiday. This shade is a tad bit too dark for my skin tone but it's okay, we'll roll with it. First impression so far, it was really easy to blend and it has dried nicely on my skin. As you saw earlier, I did set it with a translucent powder just around the areas where I tend to crease. It is very lightweight on the skin, but I have to say at the beginning, I did feel like I had a thin film across my face, 
but now it does feel very natural. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a foundation at all. Now the main selling point of this foundation is that it is long wearing and it does claim to last for 24 hours. I will not be wearing this for 24 hours but I will wear it for as long as I can for you and I'll be doing an all day test so I will be wearing this throughout the day. Then I'll come back in the evening and report my findings to see how long this foundation has lasted, whether it's rubbed off and all the rest of it. So, I'll see you in a few hours. Hello everyone, welcome back. It's been eight hours since I applied this foundation and I have to say it's looking pretty good. I've had a nap, I've eaten, I've been out and about and I'm pleased to say that my makeup has stayed in place. However, I do think that it did oxidise a little bit on me and it got a little bit darker. After filming earlier, my sister was like, Cool, you look like you're from Towie. And Steve's been calling me Snooky the whole day. But yes, those are the words of support from my loved ones. So not only did I choose a shade that was too dark for my skin tone, it got even darker. But looking past the colour of it, my makeup has not moved. So was this foundation all that it's cracked up to be? In terms of it being long wearing, I'd have to tick yes. I only needed to put one layer all over and then I built it up over the areas that I needed it to. And it's true, my face doesn't look cakey. I also love the fact that my makeup hasn't creased in the areas that it usually does. I usually crease along here, around my nose and around my mouth. And it hasn't creased, which is fantastic. In terms of it keeping my skin hydrated, uh, my face didn't become oily at all. So clearly my face didn't feel the need to produce excess oil. So a big plus for that. Does it rub off? Well, for old times sake, let's do a transfer test. I haven't done one of these in a while. So I've got my trusty tissue and I'm just going to pat it on my face to see if it does come off. The only thing I have on my forehead was the foundation and a little bit of translucent powder which was clear. So anything that comes off, it did come off a little bit. I don't know if you can see because it's so bright, hold on. I don't know if you can see around here, tiny bit has come off. So I've just done it on my chin and it has come off a little bit over here. So unfortunately it does rub off a little bit so if you are going to be wearing something light or white be very careful because it does come off a little bit. So I did take a photo to see how well it photographs with flash photography. I think it looks really good in photos. So on top of that it photographs really well as well. I'm really pleased with that. It looks really good in photos. The coverage is fantastic too, you didn't need a lot to achieve um, almost a full coverage and it is buildable. It's very natural on the skin so definitely something that you could wear during the day and because it is long wearing I think you could take it straight into your evening if you're going out after work say for example. So overall this foundation gets a lot of pluses from me. It definitely lives up to all the good reviews it's received over the years and I think this really is a good quality foundation from the high street. So those are my thoughts on the Revlon Colour Stay. It's definitely one that could compete with all the high end foundations but at a fraction of the price. So a lot of you must have tried out this foundation, I'd love to hear what you think about it. Let me know if you share the same thoughts as me. As always, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful. So until the next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! It actually comes in two versions and I, I bought the one in two versions and I bought the one for normal to dry skin but it also has But it also has, but it also comes, but it also has, but, but it also comes in one that has, uh, but today we are going high end, I'm going to be reviewing the newest addition to the Estee Lauder foundation family, it is the Estee Lauder Perfectionist Youth Infusing Makeup.